Hi, I'm Carlos and I'm a quality engineer at Dynamic Ratings. Today, I'm going to show you how to connect to a C50 transformer monitor. To do this, you're going to need a Windows 7 or above operating system, a Type A to Type B USB cable, a flathead screwdriver, and the USB pen drive that comes with every single C50 series monitor. To install the USB on your computer, open the Windows Explorer and double click on DR USB driver. Accept the license and install the program. Next, we will connect the interface unit to the C50 monitor. To do this, you can connect on the left side of both the, the interface unit and the monitor this way. Before connecting the IU, make sure that the C50 is powered off. Use a flathead screwdriver to make sure the connector is tight. Connect the C50 to a power source. Wait until the system and DRMCC LEDs start blinking. When the system LED starts blinking, it means the system is up. And when the DRMCC LED is blinking, it means that it's ready and operational. Connect the USB cable type B into the device port. Connect the type A end into your computer. Now, open a web browser. Remember, you can always type 10.0.0.1 as your main IP address. Once on the overview page, you can access to different options. Click on monitoring, for example. Once in the monitoring web page, you can take a look at some currents, temperatures, and cooling status. In the temperatures web page, you can see all the different temperatures that were assigned in your project. In the cooling system web page, you can see if fans are on or are off. Also, you can see the different currents. In comprehensive monitoring, you can see the insulation aging. You can also access to different IEDs, such as DGA devices. Every DGA device will have its own web page, showing all the data they send to the C50. If included in the C50, there is also a pushing help monitoring web page. In this web page, you have access to polar charts and trend charts. In the trend chart, you can enable different variables to take a look at. In the configuration section, you can see the system settings, where you can set the date and time. In the control unit web page, you can change all your inputs and outputs. You can see the different cards that are installed on your C50. In the CPU card, you can change the COM settings, such as IP address, and even SCADA if you're doing Ethernet. In the COMS card, you can add different IEDs as well as a SCADA. In a base B card, you can configure CTs or RTDs. In a base A card, you can configure digital outputs or analog input outputs. In the Bushing Help webpage, you can configure all the different settings for bushing monitoring as well as auto balance. In the configuration settings webpage, you can change some of the specifics in your project, such as project ID and substation name. In the alarm webpage, you can enable or disable different alarms. Also, you can group them, you can change the description, the delay, and if they're gonna be able or disabled to email. 
the data logging web page, you have three different levels of logging, providing you from short to a lot of information about the C50. In the email web page, you can program to receive emails when an alarm comes up. The virtual IU web page will provide with the same experience as if you were on site. The alarm webpage will provide with the active and the history of the alarms. The download section will provide an initial configurator, the RSCADA, and the USB driver. The summary webpage will provide with important information about your firmware and hardware and serial numbers of each card. And now you know how to connect to a C50 unit. This was Carlos. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more videos.